Well, thunderstorms are one of those phenomenon that is caused essentially by differences. Differences in temperature, differences in pressure, and so on. And the bigger the differences there are, the more severe those thunderstorms are. And essentially what you get is, in just about every case, a, a big gradient in temperature, which causes winds, all right? You get movement of air masses, and typically the movement is upwards, where you'll get, you'll get big time heating of air, particularly near the ground. That hot, moist air, particularly in an area like this near the ocean, will begin to rise. If it is heated and it has a lot of moisture in it, the more heating, the more rising that you get, all right, as it rises, it begins to cool. It cools and condenses. You start getting cloud formation. Well, as you get more and more cooling, then you start getting droplets forming to form the rain. With more and more lift, all right, you get faster and faster cooling, condensation, and so on. Heavier rains, heavier winds, and then you start throwing in the electrical disturbances in the atmosphere caused by this rapid exchange of air masses. There's your lightning and thunder that come along. And as we said, the more that this occurs, the faster it occurs and so on, the more intense your thunderstorms become.